This is Nosy Nancy reporting live. The serial killer has struck again overnight. Be on the lookout. Lock your doors. No one knows when or where the serial killer will strike again. For the morning news, I'm Nosy Nancy. Hmm, serial killer? Serial? That sounds really good. What's your emergency? I got up and I was watching TV and I felt hungry so I got up and walked to the kitchen because I really wanted cereal. I love to have cereal in the morning because it's part of the healthy breakfast. Then I saw my favorite box of cereal. Some of them I just bought at the grocery store last week. They were stabbed and on the floor of my kitchen. Ma'am, please stay calm and summarize. Summarize? Yeah, summarize. Give me the short version of what happened. The serial killer was in my kitchen. I saw him and he ran away. Okay, I'll send two detectives right away. It was around 9.30. Ma'am, can you tell us what happened? Trace the events leading up to the seeing of the serial killer. Trace? Trace, listen steps. Well, first I went into the kitchen to get breakfast. Then I saw a person at the counter screamed and the person ran past me and got away. Then I looked at the kitchen floor and all my favorite cereals has been slaughtered. Ma'am, can you describe the suspects? Describe? Yes, describe. Tell me all about the suspect. Give me details. Well, I didn't see a face. The suspect was wearing a dark hoodie and ran fast and wasn't very tall. I can infer that the suspect was a little bit cuckoo. Infer? You know, infer, duh, to read between the lines. I inferred that the serial killer was a little bit cuckoo because my Cocoa Puff cereal was gone. We need to analyze the crime scene. Yes, we must analyze. Think it through, really break it down and look at all the small clues. Here's what we have so far. A milky footprint is from a man's sneaker, and it looks like he was eating a bowl of cereal when he was discovered. Save that spoon. We can get some DNA. Oh, another thing. I predict the cereal killer will strike again. Predict? Oh, you mean to tell what will happen next? Make an educated guess? Yes, I predict the cereal killer will strike again. Look at this message. Formulate a plan to catch the serial killer. Formulate? Yes, formulate. To make or create. But we have to work fast because the serial killer will strike again. Uh-huh. Detectives, it looks like another serial homicide. They need you immediately at 555 Cornflake Lane. I got it. A Fruit Loop loose on Cornflake Lane? We weren't fast enough. And don't eat the evidence. This is Nosy Nancy. I'm live on Cornflake Lane. We have breaking news. The rampage of the serial killer continues for the second time today. The serial killer is struck in a quiet neighborhood. We will have all the details on our 6 p.m. report. Looks like we may be close to catching the serial killer. You think we may be close to catching him? Support that statement. Support? Support. Give me a reason. Back it up with facts. I think we are close to catching it because there's a trail of cereal leading over there. Stop. Put the spoon down. Slowly step away from the bowl. Ma'am, take a careful look at this item. Look and bear. Coming out all of them are alike. It's easy to compare them. They're all wearing hoodies. Now let's contrast. Tell me how they are different. How are they different from the person you saw in your kitchen? 
Let's see, how did they contrast? The serial killer is wearing a dark hoodie, not a bright pink hoodie, and the serial killer was short, not tall. I think he's the one. He's the serial killer. You have heard person after person talking about everything you have done to their serial. Can you explain why you are innocent? Explain? Tell how and why? Yes, explain why you were innocent and how you became a serial killer. Okay, I'll explain. When I was little, all the kids were eating cereal. Do you know how lucky they were? They ate cereal and got all those little prizes that were in the box. Yeah, well my mama made me eat hot cereal, oatmeal, porridge. She said it was healthier than the fun, colorful, and sugary cereal. But I wanted cereal. I became obsessed with cereal. I love cereal, but I want to kill cereal because of what it did to me. Jurors, you need to go and find if the CEO killer is guilty or not. Go evaluate the evidence. Evaluate? Evaluate to so look at the facts and make a judgment. Is the serial killer guilty or not? We, the jury, on behalf of the state of Florida, find the defendant, the serial killer, guilty as charged in the first degree. I sentence you to do community service and serve breakfast to the middle schoolers for the rest of your life. Case closed.